Hello, uh, this is Encounter. Uh, it was developed in uh, 1983 by Novagen Software and made by Paul Wokes, who uh, went on to make the Mercenary and uh, Damocles games, and um, also worked on Legends of Valor, a kind of early 3D first-person uh, role-playing game. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can see that first-person three-dimensional stuff has always been his bread and butter. Um, I kind of wanted to cover this, uh, even though I sort of previously uh, posted videos of it to my channel like 10 years ago, uh, because I wanted to kind of revisit it, and uh, because the games that I have been kind of commentating on have generally been kind of, uh, I've looked on them not so favourably, uh, and this is a game that I've always really liked and uh, still holds up really well. Um, so it's a clone uh, of such of uh, Battlezone, um, except that it's everything is kind of amped up and a lot faster uh, to the point that it's almost kind of a proto first person shooter. Um, so yeah, you, you move a lot quicker, you turn around a lot quicker, uh, it's, it's more about kind of being able to quickly maneuver out of the way of shots that are being fired at you, uh, that's not how you do that. Um, there. Uh, are like a number of different enemies so so far you've seen the basic saucer uh, and the the missile uh, here's the missile uh, so the missile basically just homes in on you and uh, the kind of best tactic is to reverse away from it and kind of fire when you feel like you can destroy it um, so I have completed the first level fairly quickly um, this is the uh, between level kind of warp section if you hit any of these you don't actually lose a life but uh, it drops you back into the the previous level and you have to defeat the same number of enemies again um, it's not too hard to kind of avoid these as long as you don't kind of move too erratically um, you also like the um, the warp window sort of only stays open for a small amount of time so if you don't kind of make it through uh, before it closes. You have to defeat all of the enemies in a level. Um, uh, seems to kind of give you a random number of enemies each level. I think it sort of um, depends on how many of them are these missiles uh, because um, you can destroy them a lot faster and if there are quite a few of those uh, you tend to have to fight about 15 to 16 enemies, uh, whereas sometimes only 7 enemies will spawn and they're mostly the saucers. Um, tactics for kind of defeating the saucers, uh, <laughs> the saucers quickly, uh, generally involves kind of hopefully being in the right place when they spawn so that you can shoot them like just as they come out of the... Uh, it doesn't always work but it's, it's always a, a good tactic to try um, but yeah some of them kind of are easy enough to defeat they don't move too erratically they have different firing patterns as well um, that one's one of the harder ones to, to beat there is one that kind of just fires off a huge stream of bullets um, yeah <laughs> not getting lucky with them uh, in this level um, some of them will uh, like fire out a big wide burst as well and then some of them are just kind of will fire one shot rarely um oh jeez right, see that's the tactic for that <laughs> um yeah um so sometimes you'll kind of like reverse into <laughs> Uh, obstacles when you're trying to get away from the missiles um, but even then like if you're lucky with the timing of your shots you can uh, destroy them the um, the radar in the center is basically the kind of most useful way of finding out where you need to go to find the enemies because sometimes they'll spawn on top of you but then sometimes they'll be kind of way off in the distance uh, and you want to get to them as quickly as possible so that they don't start firing. It's another level complete. Um, 
So the thing that I really liked about this as a kid, and I still really enjoy, is just the general atmosphere of it. The, um, the kind of desolate landscape that it presents you with in each level. Um, always kind of resonated with me, um, and um, um, I always really liked the, the mountains in the background as well. I had to start talking about this when they weren't any visible, but yeah, they're very basic, but I always felt like you could kind of almost reach them uh, when I was a kid. Uh, this and games like Pole Position um, were kind of really nice for presenting you with a, a background that you felt like you had a uh, the ability to, to reach if you just kind of kept going fast enough. Um, so this level adds new enemies. Uh, they're kind of like mines. Um, I'm sure one of them will explode before long. Um, but yeah, the, the idea is to shoot them before they blow up. Um, um, yeah, the, the game kind of gives you quite a lot in the way of, uh, like, that. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how I avoided that. Um, uh, yeah, the, the game gives you a lot in terms of variation from one level to the next, like, even on the same level. Like, if you start the first level several times, ah, jeez, uh, you will kind of encounter like, different types of enemies. Uh, even the basic sorcerers have different firing patterns, and um, yeah, it, it always kind of feels like a different, unpredictable challenge every time you play it. Um, there are a couple of things that are annoying about it, like missing the portal and having to defeat all the enemies in the level again feels really harsh. Um, and uh, there are certain kind of uh, there's a bug where if you um, get killed just as you've destroyed the, the last enemy, uh, it doesn't spawn the the warp to the next level, so you have to defeat all of the enemies again, um, which also feels really harsh. Um, yeah, I don't know that I have that much else to say about it. I was um, reading the kind of description of it from the uh, various uh, releases just before I started recording this, and um, the original NovaGen version seems to describe you as kind of uh, like being in a manned probe that you've sent down to a planet, whereas the kind of US, I think it was the US release by Synapse, um, describes the the planet as a kind of testing ground where it's uh, it's been around for millions of years and uh, oh geez uh, and it's the kind of history's greatest warriors come here to test themselves uh, it's got a lot harder <laughs> now um, these enemies uh, a lot of them will kind of fire very quickly Sometimes I like to uh, move towards the, the missiles, just to, to live dangerously. The the sound of the missiles flying towards you as they get closer and closer has always terrified me. Like it's really stressful and um, still kind of freaks me out to this day. Um, I recorded uh, this, a couple of kind of runs of this game uh, before settling on this one, where I sort of did the best. And in all of them, uh, like when I finally died, it felt like I'd kind of been playing for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, and like the first time, it was only six minutes uh, that I'd been playing for. So the, the game does kind of time dilation fairly well. Um, kind of like Super Hexagon, I guess, where it feels like you've been playing for ages because the moment-to-moment the -moment decisions that you're making are, like, really intense. Um, ah. 
Uh, yeah, so I am just going to kind of get killed. <laughs> Purposely. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's Encounter. Uh, still one of my kind of favourite uh, Atari 800XL uh, games. Uh, definitely ahead of its time and still really enjoyable uh, to this day.